Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be testing out the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT with the new Half-Life 2 RTX demo. So I've been out of town and I wanted to do this day one, but luckily I waited a little while. There have been a couple patches for the game. Now again, this is the RTX demo. It's free over on Steam. If we go to our options, there's not a lot that we can change from here. Basically our resolution, and I'm going to leave this all where it was out of the box. We're at 1080p from advanced, Nothing else really. But with RTX games like this, if we press Alt X, it's gonna bring up our RTX settings or our user graphics settings. So from here, we've got our general upscaling settings and we've only got two to choose from with AMD. I did try to install the OptiScaler to get DLSS to move over to FSR. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work. Now I could get it to show up here, but it just wasn't working. So we're gonna be using TAAU. Set to performance, this is how it was right out of the box. Rendering, got low, ultra, high, medium. It's at low right now, so we're gonna leave it here. Content, we can enable this or disable it at any time. And our developer settings menu. So there's a lot of stuff that we can change in here, but I wanna go with kind of the presets we've got here. So I'm gonna hide the UI, and we're gonna start this up and see how it performs on the Radeon RX 9070 XT. So again, right now we are at 1080. Scaling is set to performance and we're at low settings. Uh, to me, it just doesn't look great. Obviously everything's a bit blurry here. And real quick, I'll show you. I'll X out. We'll disable the enhanced assets. And this is how it looked. But we definitely want those on. We'll move in a bit with these settings and then we'll go to medium. Yeah, there's a guy right there. Little head crab still alive? No, there we go. So the big thing here obviously is ray tracing. Now there's a lot of DLSS function like multi-frame gen on the new 5000 series cards, but we don't have that built in with uh, these AMD cards. And I mean, we're getting great performance, but unfortunately it just doesn't look great like this. So we're gonna take it up a bit. Go back in under general. Let's go to medium. And I wanna take this to quality. So yeah, looks a lot better, but as you can see from our frame rate up in the top left-hand corner, we're under 60. I mean, in fact, we're under 50. I'm sure indoors we might get up over 50. But let's move in a little bit more. See what the deal is here. Get rid of him. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. Get out of here. Should have known that little bald chicken was going to be there. Oh, it's probably, yeah, I knew it was going to do that. Now, it does look really great with these light effects, but, um, yeah, we're just not getting the kind of performance or visual fidelity that I'd like. So I do want to take this up. We'll get outside over here. Oh man, it dropped way down there. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Um, rendering, let's just see what it does at ultra. And we're gonna disable this. Oh yeah. That does look really good, but we're only at like 16 FPS with it. It's gonna be really hard to play it like this. So I think maybe medium settings, or we've got something else that we can do with a third party application. And that's something I was actually thinking about testing because when you're playing this on a newer RTX card, you've got multi-frame gen. A lot of people don't like frame generation, I understand, but we don't have multi-frame gen, at least natively with uh, AMD. So what I'm gonna do is move out of this. We're gonna come back with an application and we're gonna see if we can really take that frame rate up. 
Okay, so check this out. This actually worked out much better than I thought it would. So uh, right now, we're actually at high settings, and I'll get in here and show you. Uh, we're using a little bit of scaling, set to quality, high settings, we'll save that. And you can see just all by itself that 9070 XT just isn't handling this game very well. Um, even if we wanted to lock this down at 30, it's still going to dip under there with these settings. But like I mentioned, we've got a third party application that we can use. And this is known as lossless scaling. So this is available over on Steam. It is a paid app. What I'm going to be using is the lossless frame generation 3.0. Mode Fixed Multiplier 3. So we should be able to multiply our frames by 3. And again, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like frame generation, but you got to keep in mind that with the new 5000 series cards, I mean, they've got a real advantage with that multi-frame gen. It actually works out pretty well if you've ever tested it. And with this application, we can scale if we want to, but we're going to be doing it from within the game. Uh, my favorite scaler is the Lossless 1 scaler. You can use FSR if you want to with this AMD card. But one of the coolest features here is we can actually use a different GPU to generate these frames. I've got that i7 14700K and it's got the UHD 770 graphics. I could swap over to that RX 9070 and generate the frames there, but I want to get as much performance out of this card as I can because we are playing that ray traced game. So I'm going to be generating the frames with the iGPU and the CPU here. We're going to choose scale. We'll go back into the game, give it a few seconds. And up at the top, we've got a new frame counter. So this is built into lossless scaling. On the left-hand side, we've got our old frames with no generation. On the right-hand side, we're at X3 right now. And it does work pretty good here. So let me move over. We'll get into a little bit of gameplay here. But you can see, I mean, it has significantly increased our frame rate. And with any kind of frame generation, you're going to experience a little bit of latency. But what I've noticed here is if I use a secondary GPU, even just that iGPU we have here with that UH770, because now with it set up like this, our main GPU doesn't need to render the game and generate those frames. So using a secondary GPU really does help out with lossless scaling. And if anybody gets OptiScaler working with this, let me know in the comments below because it could swap out DLSS frame generation for FSR frame gen and DLSS for FSR. It'd be really cool to run FSR4 here with the 9070 XT and some frame generation natively with that AMD GPU. But right now, using lossless scaling with something like this, I mean, will help out with that frame rate. And in the end, I mean, it's really up to you. Of course, there are settings we can use here to get this to run at 60 or even over 60 but I wanted to run it at those high settings with the scaling we have here set to quality just to make everything look a little better. And it definitely does. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I figured I'd just show this off real quick. And again, with OptiScaler, if I can get it working, I will make another quick video because I do think we can see much better performance with FSR and some AMD frame gen here. But until then, thanks for watching.